Hey YouTube, uh, first off I want to apologize, I've been so long since I posted this update to the uh, 3D printed front rest for shooting, uh, just been real crazy busy and uh, I wanted to get this video out there for you because <clears throat> the update that I did for the uh, rest was quite a radical departure from what I was using previously. You'll remember previously was this version here where we had the vertical slider and then the uh, removable horizontal slider components made in two pieces. Uh, that was the original version that I did from Mr. BCRC's um, design. Uh, I never did shoot this version at a match. I decided to upgrade and make it a little smaller. And then you saw in my update video, I had this version here, basically the same thing, just a little printed a little smaller and printed in PETG. Uh, this one didn't do too bad, but uh, it was really disappointing. I'll try and uh, play a short video that uh, one of the other competitors took at uh, the match that I shot in July using this version here. And uh, it was very wobbly when the, when the top was on. And when it was shooting, the, the top would really wobble quite a bit side to side. And it was just not a real good situation. So I decided to see what I could do about that. Um, so I was thinking the, the biggest problem you have is the weight of the gun pushing down on the on the rest and how could I offset that weight of the gun um, instead of having just a straight vertical slider like this where all the weight of the gun is pushing straight down onto the joystick. Um, I decided to go with a different approach and what I came up with is a basically a cam design where um, I have the the inner body here the inside body and uh, it still attaches to the uh, the post in a similar fashion with just a single screw I did change that up so that instead of just the single screw I have a uh, problem I had was it rotating uh, it got loose and rotated so I, I drilled holes in this lock ring for additional screws and now I can tighten that up and put the screws in and that keeps it from rotating. Also, there used to be this handle here and went in here and that, that uh, tightened on the center post, on the threaded post, and that kept the lock ring from rotating. Uh, I didn't need this anymore, so I just got rid of it. And I just put a, an Allen head set screw in there because that never gets adjusted. So I'm going to put this together, show you how the new cam version works. Um, and I'll try and show you some of the components, what you need if you do 3D print this. This is not going to be a tutorial on how to 3D print. There's thousands of videos on YouTube about how to print uh, 3D print things. Um, this is the, the cam. You see the profile here. When it rotates, it, it lifts up. I'll show you. Um, there is a spherical bearing in here. These spherical bearings I just got off Amazon. They're 14 millimeter outside diameter and a 6 millimeter inside diameter. They're just a few bucks a piece on Amazon. So uh, when you 3D print this, it's 3D printed vertically. On, on the uh, printer and um, what I did was um, I actually paused the printing you put what are called um, support blockers so inside this the end of here where this bolt goes there's actually a, a nut a metal nut 3d printed inside of here and so this can go in and screw into that metal nut. And there's one on each end. Um, and that's to provide tension so that the cam doesn't rotate. So what I do is I take my handle. This is the same handle that I had previously. I just changed it. I took a bolt, cut the head off, and inserted it inside, you know, 
JB welded it inside and then um, take a small spring slip over that then a washer and then that gets inserted into this slot in the uh, in the can and then on the other side I have a self-locking nut that goes to hold the handle in place Tighten that up. Uh, I don't have a wrench, so I'm just going to hold it with my pliers here, but just tighten that up a little bit. Now that provides, um, the handle can slide side to side and provide ho uh, horizontal motion to the rest. And then um, this fits inside this body. I made it large enough that I can insert it after the fact when it's assembled. So now the cam is inside there. Then on the end, I made bushings, 3D printed a bushing that has lugs on it to keep it from rotating. The bushing will not rotate. So that gets inserted into the end. And then I bought these little, this is just simply a six millimeter bolt with the head cut off. And then this is a uh, guitar volume control knob. You can buy them on Amazon. They came in sets of three and I think it was like five bucks. And they fit a six millimeter shaft. And then that gets screwed into the end of the horizontal cam. The elevation cam, I call it. One on each side. And then I put the other bushing in. Other bushing in on this side. And the other friction knob gets screwed in. Oh, you know what? I should have attached it to the uh, to the rest first. So let me take that apart. It's easy to do because uh, the cam will come out without having to remove the handle. Just flip that up. Take that out. Put the single screw in the post. And I'm not going to tighten that up all the way until I get these other two screws in that prevent it from rotating. Okay, then I can tighten up the center one. And this is, when I print this, all these parts, are, when they're printed, I print them in 100% fill. So there is, there's no hollow spots at all in these prints. It's 100% PETG. Now I can put the uh, cam back in. put my bushings and friction knobs back in
to tighten those up just a little bit. I don't have to tighten them too much right now. So you can see when you raise the handle, the cam rotates and then side to side motion on the handle. You see these vertical slots here. What that is for is I have this outside body. There's the body is an outside piece, and you see there's slots on the inside. There's a slots for the horizontal component, and there's slots in the outer body or the inner body for the vertical component. These pieces fit into here. Like that. Slide them to one end and then line up the slots with the slots in the body. Oh, you know, I forgot the uh, this is the cam follower. You see the profile on the end of this? How it's it looks like a cam follower, and that just slot slips down inside here. And that follows the, uh, the cam. So when I raise the handle, that goes up and down. Now I can put the outer body on. Line up the vertical slots. And that just slips down over that and line up the... So it fits over the handle. Now... I have vertical adjustment and horizontal adjustment. Let me lower this a little bit so like that. And then I have I can put my top on. This is the same top that I printed. I didn't reprint this in PETG because it was already printed in PTG and it's the same size, the same size as the uh, other versions. So now I have my vertical component and horizontal component works well. The nice thing about the friction knobs, what that does, let me rotate this a little. I can slide this to one side, tighten up this friction knob, slide it and tighten up this one. And then if I raise the handle up, I can put a lot of weight on there and it doesn't move the handle at all, but it moves very easily. So it, it holds the elevation nice and tight. And I'll try and embed some videos that we took. Um, the previous version, this, this version here, when I shot it at a match, was very wobbly. And then I have another video that when I was sighting in my gun using this version how this was rock steady and, and didn't move at all, doesn't wiggle, it's very solid, works really well. Um, yeah, and then uh, for lubrication, I use this Super Lube, it's basically silicone grease with Teflon and it works really well. Just a little bit of that on there. Um, I think that's about it. I'll uh, see if I can embed those videos and then uh, I'm going to post these STL files, make them available again because this, this works really well. The only update that I see that I would do to this is I would change the cam so instead of one lobe, it would be two lobes, one on the bottom and one on the top. And then I would change the bushings on the side. Instead of having these anti-rotation lugs, I would make it a vertical slot and then have flats on the bushings so that when the cam rotates, the bottom lobe would push the bushing up. Uh, that way, the, the slope on the cam is less. So forced coming pushing down would be less rotational force force on the cam. But this one works really well. I may not change that. We'll see. But uh, yeah.
that's the update that I have for now and like I say I will post the STL files and I uh, hope somebody prints it and uh, gets back with me on what kind of success they have um, but it works works pretty well a little finicky getting the top on I don't have much grease on there right now Yeah. anyway you all can see what it looks like um, leave a leave some comments and let me know what you think thanks a lot